All right, so today we're gonna to take a look at editing some more and we're gonna deal with cutting and pasting and moving regions from one track to another. And we're gonna go over a couple different ways to do that and when you might wanna create a new track versus when you might want to duplicate the track. And there are two different duplicate options, so we're gonna to try to cover all that today. All right, so first up, we got this uh, beat here. Shout out to Anomaly for allowing me to use this beat for this demonstration. And the first thing we want to do is we want to copy from measure 17 to measure 33 and put that on another track because, you know, you want to tweak it and let it sound a little differently so that the melody is doing something a little different in the verse versus in the uh, chorus and other parts of the songs. So there's a couple different ways we can do that. And I'm going to go over those here today. Looks like there's a few tracks in here. Track four, highest underscore bit, group. Track three melody, group. Track two classic, track one, eight hundred, eight hundred score bit. Track one, eight hundred, eight hundred score bit, group. All right, so four tracks it looks like. So the melody track is what we're going to be working with. So I'm going to go back to that track one. Two classic, track three melody, group. All right, so we're on the melody track here. And if I do control end and control home, that will move the playhead to the end and start of all the selected regions on that track. Now, because I just moved on to this track, all the regions on a track at the moment are selected. So if I do control end, you see the track ends at 137 and starts at measure one. And that's because all the regions on the track are selected. If I tap the left or right arrow once, it's going to deselect all the regions. If I tap the right arrow twice, it's going to select the first region in the track. If I tap the left arrow twice, it's going to select the last region on the track. So I want to select the first region and go through and kind of get an idea for how many uh, different regions are here. So I'm going to tap the right arrow twice. And now if I do control end, five bar, one, one, division, one, tick. see the first region ends at measure five. And if I press control home, one bar, one, one, division, one, tick. you see the first region starts at measure one, as we already knew. So if I tap the right arrow again, you see that one ends at measure nine, starts at measure five. If I tap the right arrow again, this time I'm going to hit control home first. Nine bars, one, one, division, one, check. See, it starts at measure nine, 13 bars, one, one, division, one, ends check. at measure 13. And you can go through like that. I tap the right arrow again. And if I press control home, it's not going to say anything because I left it at measure 13. So now if I tap control end, 17 bars, one, one, division, one, check. it ends at measure 17. Press control home. 13 bars, one, one, division, one, check. Moves back to measure 13 and tells us that uh, that's where it is. So it looks like this track basically have regions in four bar increments. So if I tap the right arrow one more time, control home. 17 bars, one, one, division, one, check. 21 bars, one, one, division, 17 bars, one, one, division. You see we're on a region that goes from measure 17 to measure 21. Now we want to select everything between measure 21 and measure 33. And if all these regions are going in uh, four bar increments, then that means we just need to select four regions here. The one from 17 and 21, 21 and 25, 25 and 29, and 29 and 33. So we have the first region selected because we have the region from 17 to 21 selected, and we can double check that again with control end. 21 bars, one, one division, one check. 17 bars, one, one division, one check. And control home, you hear that ended at 21 and starts at measure 17. And I'm gonna slow down voiceover a little bit here. Volume 100, pitch 50%. Rate 100%. 80%, 70, 70, 60, 60%, 65%. All right. Track right. three melody, groove. Hopefully that's slow enough without being annoyingly so. All right, now that we know we have the region from measure 17 to 21 selected, if I hold down shift and tap the right arrow three times, that's going to select the next three regions adjacent to this one. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. And now if I hit control end. 33 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Yep, it ends at measure 33. And if I hit control home. 17 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. It starts at measure 17, like where we wanted it. So now that we got those regions selected, we can hit command X to cut. Cut. And I'm going to create a new track. So normally you create a new track with command option A. That will create a new audio track. So if I hit command option A. Track 4 audio 5 group. You can rename this if you want with shift return, but I'm just going to paste on here right now. So I'm going to paste. Uh, remember, we want to paste at measure 17. So let's make sure that's where we are. 18 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. 17 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Yep. I just use comma and period to move forward and back to verify 
that I was at measure 17. So we're at measure 17. I'm going to hit Command V to paste. Paste. So if I press Control Home to go back to the start of this selection, 17 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. And if I hit play, 17 bars, one beat, one. You see, in this case, that didn't really work. And what's going on here? The reason it sounds like this, I'm going to solo. Toggle this. channel strip solo on. 17 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. That is the melody being played at its normal tempo. So track three, the original melody track, has flex time turned on so that the melody can conform to the project tempo and the tempo was changed. So in this case, we'd have to go into the inspector and turn flex time on for this track as well, et cetera, et cetera. But there's an easier way. Uh, I'm going to undo this. Undo. And I'm going to undo the new track creation as well. Menu bar. Add, five. Edit. Edit. Undo create track command. Z. Undo create track. All right. So this is an instance where you might want to duplicate the track. And you can duplicate in two ways. There is Command D, which duplicates the track with all the settings for the track, but none of the regions on the track. And then there's Command Shift D, if you're using the Logic Keyboard Ninja key commands. Command Shift D will duplicate the track and all the regions on the track. So in this case, we want Command D. We just want to duplicate the track with all the settings. So let's make sure we have that melody track selected again. Track 3 melody. Track 4 high hits underscore bit. Track 3 melody. Group. All right. So we got the melody track selected. So now I'm going to do Command D. New track with duplicate settings. And you see that's new track with duplicate settings. Track 4 melody. Group. So now we're on the track 4. Let's make sure we're at 17. 18 bars, 17 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. Now if I do paste again. Paste. I'm going to hit Control Home to go back to the start. 17 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. 17 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 you see that it plays back the same way. And so what I'm going to do now, if I go back to track three. Track three melody, group. And solo this track. Toggle channel strip solo on. You see there's nothing at measure 17. 17 bars, one beat, one division, one now, tick. Now, if I back up. 16 bars, one beat, one 16. division, one tick. 16 bars, one. Yep. So from measure 17 to measure 33 is only on track four. And once again, we can use left and right arrows to verify this. So if I double tap. You'll see. Five bars, one, one bar, one beat, one division, one tick. Now I'm going to hit the right arrow four or five times. Let's see where we are. 33 bars, one beat, one division, 37 bars, one beat, one division, so one tick. this is measure 33 to 37. If I tap the left arrow once. 13 bars, one beat, one, 17 bars, one beat, one. You see the previous region on that track starts at measure 13 and ends at measure 17. So there's nothing between 17 and 33 on track three. But now when we go to track four. Track four melody, group. And if I do control end, 33 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. You see that ends at measure 33. 17 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. And starts at measure 17. And likewise, if I tap the, this time I'm going to tap the left arrow twice to select the last region. And 33 bars, one beat, one, 29 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. See, we have 29 and 33. Tap the left arrow again. 25 bars, one beat, 29 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. 25 to 29. Tap the left arrow again. 21 bars, 1 beat. 25 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. 21 to 25. Tap the left arrow one last time. 17 bars, 1 beat, 1 division. 21 bars, 1 beat, 1 division. 17 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. 17 to 21. And once again, I'm using control, home, and end to move the playhead to the start and end of the selected regions. Now, you can use shift space to play the selected region, but because this is a loop with the same exact melody line, that really wouldn't help us in this particular scenario to know which region is selected. And that's why I use Control Home and Control End. So that's one way to do this. And we can rename this track. Um, track 3 Melody. Track 4 Melody. Group. So we can name this Verse Melody. So I'm going to hit Shift Return. Melody. Content selected. Edit text. And do Selection E R S E Verse M E L O D Y. Track 5 High. Track 4 Verse Melody. Group. And there you go. So I'm going to go back to uh, Melody Track 3. Track 3 Melody, group. And I'm going to... Uh, Toggle Channel Strip Solo Off. Turn the solo off. So next we're going to take a look at how to do this with the marquee. And because we're using the marquee, we don't have to first navigate through the different regions and select a region. We know that we want to select from measure 49 to measure 65. So we just need to first uh, convert the region selection to a marquee selection. So we just move back on to 
this melody track, so that means all the regions on the track are selected, and we can verify that by pressing Control and 137 bars, one beat, one division, one tick, one bar, one beat, one division, one tick, and Control Home, and you hear it says that the track starts at measure one and goes to measure 137, so all the regions on the track are selected again. So we can convert that region selection into a marquee selection with Command Shift Backslash, and the backslash is the right under the backspace key, right next to the left and right brackets on at least on the US keyboard. So I'm going to hit Command Shift Backslash, and now I'm going to move to measure 49. Now I can use period and comma. Two bars, three bars, two bars, one beat, one division, but, one tick. But that will take forever. So the regular slash keys it brings up the go to dialog, and you can type in what measure you want to go to. So I'm going to press the slash key. Go to position, dialog. Go to position, current, new. And it appears in Catalina, you got to navigate to the edit field first. You used to be able to just type it in. And current, one, 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 one hour, new. One 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 scrubber group. Right there, so I'm gonna type in four nine. Hit return. Forty nine bars one beat one division one tick. And you see it puts us on measure forty nine, and so now I'm gonna hit command left bracket to set the start point of our marquee selection there. And now I'm gonna to navigate to measure sixty five. So hit slash again. Go to position. Dialog. Go to position. Current. New. And I just hit control to pause voiceover. Current. Forty nine one hour one new. Forty nine one 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 scrubber group. I'm going to hit 65, hit return. 65 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. And now I'm going to do command right bracket to set an endpoint there. And now if I play. 49 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. It should play from measure 49 to measure 65. And you see it stops automatically at 65. And if I hit space again, 49 bars, one beat, one, 49 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. It'll just start playing from measure 49. So um, I'm going to hit command X to cut. Cut. And now if I navigate to uh, the next track, that's verse melody. Tracks, group. Tracks, group. Oops, got to interact. In tra tracks, time ruler. Tracks, header, group. In tracks, header, group. Five items. Track three, melody, group. Track four, verse, melody, group. Go to verse melody, because that's the track I want to paste it on, and do command V. Paste. And now you'll see that if I hit control home. 49 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Starts at 49. 65 bars, one beat, one and, division, one tick. And at 65. I'm going to go back to 49. 49 bars, one beat, one division, one. And if I. Track three, melody, group. Go to the melody. I'm going to solo this. Toggle channel strip solo on. You see when I solo the melody track, there's nothing on the melody track at measure 49. So we got what we wanted done. Toggle channel strip solo. 49 bars, one beat, one division, track four, verse melody, group. So now, now that I'm on the verse melody track, if I do control N. 65 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. See, ends at 65. 17 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. And it starts at measure 17, because the first region on this track starts at measure 17. So this told you where the selected regions start and end. Uh, as you know, there's a gap in the middle, but because all the regions are selected, it'll just basically let you know where the track starts and end when you have all the regions on the track selected. All right, so now that we got those two different ways of copying and pasting to a new track out of the way, using either selecting the regions or using a marquee, um, I'm sure part of the reason we did this was so we could put an effect on this. So let's jump into the mixer and add an effect. So uh, are we stuck, measure 17? 17 bars, one beat, one division. One yep, all right. So I'm going to do command two to jump in and mixer. You can go into the inspector, but I find it's just quicker to do command two. Now in beat for tutorial on YouTube page, mixer, tracks, window. Now we're in the mixer. I'm going to full screen this as Space well. with applications, space with Logic Pro 10 containing window beat for tutorial on YouTube page, mixer. So I just did command control F to full screen the mixer. So now. Hi, it's underscore bit, verse melody, channel strip group. Verse melody, that's what we want. In verse melody, channel strip group. Interact 30 items, that. verse melody, off. Off, 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 minus four, off, off, zero, automation, group, off, stereo, up, send button, audio, club, shaper box, group, insert bar, shaper box two, group, audio, input one, two, button. All right, so I don't have shaper box on here, so. Audio plugin, button. I don't have shaper box two on here, but I'm basically going to put a delay at the end of this because that would be something where you can kind of hear the difference. So I'm going to find a slot after one of the shaper box instances. Shaper box, insert bar, button, shaper box, group, audio plugin, button. 
There we go. Audio plugin. So I'm going to VO space. Menu point recent dim ignite MS ton of forge ignite BX underscore linear amps and pet delay distortion delay submenu. Delays. Delay. Submenu five items. Delay designer. Echo. Sub sample delay. Stereo delay. Tape delay. Submenu. Go to tape delay here. Tape delay. Verse melody. Verse melody. Dialogue. 17. Toolbar. Buck. Bypath. Factory. Def previous. Button. Factory default. Pop-up button. And we can choose a preset here. So we can just view a space on this pop-up menu. Menu. Setting. Undo. Read. Inc. Net previous. Copy. Paste. Load. Save as ellipsis. Save. Save as def recall default. Delete. One, one backslash two note dotted. One backslash two note dotted feedback. Pre closing menu. One backslash two note dotted feedback. Pop-up button. One backslash two note dotted feedback. Check. 17 bars. One beat. One division. One tick. Or we can use left and right brackets to pick a preset. 17 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. 17 bars, one beat, one previous. One backslash, two note flutter. Pop up button. And you see it's changing. If I, it unfortunately doesn't speak, so you gotta move off of it and move on. Previous. To it. One backslash, two note flutter. Pop up button. 17 bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Previous. One backslash, two note dotted. Pop up button. And we can go into the mixer controls. Uh, we can go into plugin settings if I do view end. Scroll area. See a scroll area. If that's not there. Link. Unch view. Menu button. Go to the view menu. Me check mark. Editor. Editor. Check mark. Controls. And go to controls and switch it to controls view. Um, but I have that turned on by default. So. Closing menu. Link. Uncheck. Scro scroll area. Interact In scroll with this. area. 5%. High cut. 8,900 hertz. High, 5% feedback. 5%. Slider. 17 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. up a little bit to make this a little bit more noticeable. In slider, 15, 25, 35, 40, 65, 75%. 17 bars, 1 beat, 1 so, division, 1 tick. Now if I back up to, like, say, measure uh, 13. 16, 15, 14, 13 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. You'll hear what it sounds like in measure 13. Thirteen bars, one beat, one and division, one tick. And measure seventeen. You hear the delay uh, coming into effect. Um, and actually, if you want to make this a little bit more noticeable for the purposes of this demonstration, sixty-five, fifty-five percent, sixty, eighty-five, ninety-five, one hundred, one hundred fifty-five. Adops, adops. I'm gonna verse melody close button. Close this. Now in beat for tutorial on. Put a distortion in front of it. Mixer toolbar. Mixer layout area. In mixer layout area. Seven items. Verse melody. Channel strip groove. Interact with the verse melody track. In verse melody. Off. 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 Minus. Off. Off. Z automation. Group. Off. Stereo output. Bu send button. Audio. Tape delay. Group. All right. So in front of the tape delay. Insert bar. Button. I am going to. What I insert bar is via space. Recent. Tape. Ignite. Ton of. Ignite. BX. Amps and. Delay. Distortion. Submenu. Dynamic. Distortion. Submenu. Go to distortion. Distortion. Submenu. Big pressure. Submenu. Clip distortion. Sub. Distortion. Submenu. Distortion 2. Submenu. Distortion. Submenu. Distortion. Distortion. Verse melody. Dialog. Verse melody. Dialog. 13 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 bar, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. Let's go to measure 17 Two, three, four, here. 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. 17 toolbar, by factor previous, net, comp, view, link, scroll, scroll area, in 6.0 decibel, drive, 6.0 decibel, 17 bars, 1 beat, in slider, drive 11, 20, 20, 30, 40, 1.0 decibel, 17 bars, 1, all right, perfect, so that's very noticeable. 16, 15, 14 bars, 1 beat, 13 bars, 1 beat, 1 division, 1 tick. Bars, one so one you see that the once measure 17 hits, you hear the different effect there. All right. So that's the two different ways selecting regions versus using the marquee to cut something and put it on a new track. And then as you can see, once it's on a new track, you can apply effects just to the version on a new track and do some cool tweaks to the stuff you're working on in your song that way. All right. Hope, once again, you found this useful, it was helpful. If you got something you'd like to see me do a tutorial on in the future, or you got tips or tricks of your own to share with the community, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Until next time, happy recording. Menu X, stop recording.